everyone welcome back to another fossil hunting video on my youtube channel it's a nice cold early morning i'm going to head around the whitby east cliff today and see if there's anything cool to be found around there there's a load of sand at the left part of saltwick bay which isn't perfect for fossil collecting but i'll have a quick look before i head round. i've not found very much around this section for a while since all of the huge sandstone fell down a few years ago. It's currently two hours or so before low tide. So if you're wanting to do left of Saltwick towards Whitby East Cliff, you always need to bear in mind that you have to have a good tide, a good one where the tide goes quite far out. That's part of the reason why I've left it quite late today, only two hours before low tide. Usually I'm out four or five hours before low on other beaches. So right by this waterfall here, I've just spotted this bellamite block. Quite a worn section, but interesting nonetheless. Not sure if it's worth taking. There's not quite as many bellamites as I'd like, but I would like to find a more fresh one with a few so this more. This is a moment when we'll see if the tide's gone out enough or if there's going to be a little bit of waiting for me to do. Let's flip you around right now. Still looks a little bit far in. But maybe I'll be able to head over there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to. Looks in, it looks quite far out in comparison to my last video where I couldn't get round. The trouble with coming this way is navigating round these mega slippy shale ledges. You can always walk round if you're willing to walk round that bit. growth on it, all the brown coloration. It's often worth keeping your eye out among these shale slabs. I've had the odd vert or so wearing out. You can also find bellamites if you're interested in bellamites. I know there's been the odd dinosaur footprint found around this way. I've found a few myself, but I'm hoping I'll be able to point one out to you today, if there is one. Well, there's a beautiful bellamite eroding out of this shale slab. Looks quite pristine at the moment. I'm sure after a few tides, it'll be broken into pieces. So I've just spotted another likely looking nodule here. Got a few nasty looking cracks, but it's worth a look. So we're just going to have a look through all the shingle and see if there's anything which looks like it'll be worth a tap. It's one nodule. So we've got a nodule here with what appears to be fishbone contained within. Quite interesting, I've not found so much so far today, so I might even take that back. Well, that looks like a good old nodule, that's exactly how you want to see them. I'd be shocked if that didn't have anything in. And there we go, we've got a split. And it looks like there's a perfect looking Peronoceros inside. So I'll be taking that back home and preparing it using more precise air tools than my hammer. Brilliant. Remember though. everyone, if you'd like to purchase your very own fossil from the Yorkshire coast, please check out my website called buyafossil.com. There's so many beautiful prepared fossils all available for purchase. Please take a look if you are interested. Thank you. Lovely looking Dactylioceros eroding out few cracks going either way so I'm going to tap it and see if it breaks or if it works well. Not an amazing split I have to say. Oh well. So right where I'm stood I've spotted two very promising looking. I'm going to grab the very first one out. I don't know if it's going to be complete though. You can see it under there. 
wedged in. I'm gonna have to get my chisel on that. Let's go pick up the other nodule. Perfectly rounded rock again. Well, it's got one inside. I'll take that one back for the nodule box. Nice full one. And then there's these two rocks to crack open. So I've just spotted two perfect looking nodules on the floor again. Let's flip you around and pick them up. Here's the first one. Very nice, perfect looking keel sticking out. And let's go for the next one. So that's two nodules right next to each other. And I've found three nice looking nodules all in the same little area. So this one will be perfect. You can see the keel there. There's one with a nice brown looking shell sticking out of this one. And then the third one, it's got another lovely keel. Finding quite a few dacks now. And then there's a nice rounded nodule to tap open. So there's a perfect split, but is there anything in it? So yeah, there was a DAC, but it's not a good split. I think they're a little bit sticky from this part of the Whitby area. A little bit close to the cliff here, but there's a nice looking DAC. It's missing the edge here, so I'm not going to be taking that back, so that can stay on the beach. But there is another nodule with a beautiful one inside, and that should be all in there. So there's a poorly preserved ammonite preserved inside this rock here. Looks good at the first glance, but then you'll notice it's quite crushed in the inside. So I'll be leaving this. There's quite a few inside shale slabs over here, which aren't preserved very well. So I've gone by the area that I'd call the DAC hotspot area, and now I'm further towards the Whitby side. You can see there's a lot of sandstone blocks underneath the cliff rather than the nice grey limestone that we're looking for the nodules in. So I'm going to try and get my eye in now and see if I can spot any footprints. You never know what's around here. If you look up there on this ledge you'll see how much mud and sandstone bits has fallen down the cliffs there. And that just needs a really big sea to wash all that out. I mean you never know, some of them may have dinosaur footprints on but they're covered in mud at the moment, so they need a good wash. So towards this area, the nodules are few and far between. I've tapped a few and they've all been empty. I just found another rounded one. Now, if I'd found it anywhere else, I'd say, yes, there will be one in it, but probably not from here, but let's give it a go. We've got a good split on it. <laughs> and it's empty. So I found a nice surprise DAC on the floor. Hopefully it's all there. There's a nice keel sticking out. I mean, it looks like it should be. And it's very well wedged in, so it's probably been here a while. Probably have to get my chisel on it, I think. There we go, it's loose. Yeah, it's a perfect one. Should be all in there. The keel goes all the way around. Very nice. So I'm just near the shipwreck now, the concrete one. Make my way back and there's another perfect looking nodule laying, just laying here amongst all the other rocks. And it's quite a fatty as well. Some type of Peronoceros. Hopefully it's all in there, because it does look like a really nice one.
There's been quite a few people out collecting and walking on the beach today, but they've missed this one. Really nice little, I think it's a semisol item that's probably washed in. Now we've got to the stage where it's worth taking back, I think. Any more taps with a hammer will damage that. Here's one, quite a few people have missed. Just saw that little keel there, sticking out. Should be a good one inside there. So I'm at the last little stretch of the beach now. Found a nice nodule which has rolled in. Nothing showing on the outside. But we'll give it a tap. Just completely empty. So I'm still having a good search through all of these sandstone slabs looking for any trackways or just single dinosaur footprints. No luck yet, but you never know. So just having a look around through a few sandstone bits and there's a nice fern impression here. There's another one here. But what does look quite intriguing is this rock here. So if you see there, that's a fern. So I'm going to try and split it off a bit and see what's underneath. There's plenty of plant material, but nothing of significance. So it is a nice firm impression, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get it out of this big block. It's really heavy. So I'm going to leave it as it is. So while it's not perfect, I did manage to salvage this beautiful fossilised fern. This is probably the find of the day. Found right at the end of the fossil hunt. So I'm going to make my way back off the beach now. Hopefully you've all enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next one. This last little section of the video is a bonus two or three minutes or so. It's all been filmed in vertical format, so I've not bothered to crop it and lose the quality. Hopefully we enjoy it. Shows a nice sample of some of the fossils I've been finding when I've not been out filming these long form YouTube videos. Hopefully you enjoy. It just shows a few nice sample fossils from various different beaches.